Next up is a way to bring on the holiday cheer. Season's greetings, sharks. My name is Jason McComber. This is Cooper the Elf. <laughs> and I know you all know Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the founder and owner of Beardaments, and I'm here today seeking $150,000 in exchange for 10% of my company. Now, sharks, do you recall the most famous Beardo of all? There once was a jolly man who gave everyone Christmas cheer, but Santa he grew bored of wearing the same outfit each year. I tried ugly sweaters, but they all just looked weird. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Shouted the elf. Let's put stuff in your beard. <laughs> so he clipped in bright ornaments of gold, silver, red, and green. Now this was holiday spirit that the North Pole had never seen. <laughs> Beardaments, exclaimed Santa. <laughs> That's what they'll be called. You can clip them almost anywhere, even your chest hair if you're bald. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't stop there, because this Santa had no doubt. There must be other ways you could deck a beard out. So the elves quickly made beard oil, glitter, and lights. So anyone without a Rudolph could still see through the night. The North Pole was ecstatic. Santa was looking fly. Even Mrs. Claus couldn't keep her hands off this guy. <laughs> now sharks, who wants to season up your beard and step under the mistletoe? Make my Christmas wish come true. And let's Aww. watch your money grow. Ho, ho, ho. All right, Sharks, <laughs> I know you've all stayed off the naughty list this year, so Santa and the Elf are going to pass out some samples for you. Cool beans. Wow. <laughs> Just when I think I've seen it all. Right? Yeah. Wow, thank you, Cooper I, the Elf. I can't wait to put this on. How about you, Lori? <laughs> <laughs> Lori, what do you think? Well, Robert, that's not your best oh, oh, oh. <laughs> We got you a wig, too. Oh, that's very important. Oh. There you go, Ken. Wow. Beautiful. You can clip them oh. anywhere. Thank you, Mr. Cooper the Elf. I appreciate that. Well, I think it's going to look terrific. Oh. You guys look great. <laughs> All right, well, Santa and the Elf have to go wrap some presents, guys, so we're going to send them on their way. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Santa. Bye. Thanks, Cooper the Elf. Bye-bye. Why did you come up with this? So I started this company four years ago, um, just a Christmas party. I decided to hook some stuff in my beard after probably a couple drinks. <laughs> Everyone loved it and thought it was funny. So that next year, we just started to sell it. Um, I, I actually spent $1,500 of my own money, um, ordered some from China. I got 1,000 packs, listed them on Etsy and eBay, a couple places online, and I sold out of that, those 1,000 packs within a couple weeks. So our first year, we did $80,000 in sales. What? Oh, you're kidding. In about two months. Wow, what'd you do the second year? Uh, second year was 155,000 in sales. What? Wow. You gotta be kidding. What'd last you do last year? Last year? Uh, $462,000. What? In sales. <laughs> yep. Unbelievable. And your day is incredible. So I, I, we're projecting to do about 600 to 700,000 in and sales this year. It's all direct to customer? Yes. This is a UFB. Unfrickin' believable. Yeah, it, <laughs> I mean, yeah. it blows me away. So the, the regular beard ornaments sell for $9.99. I get them made for $1.66 per pack. Uh. And then the light up ornaments, this will be our second year doing the light up. How do you charge for that? $19.99. And what and does it cost? It costs you $4.66. Wait, $4 wait, 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 for how many? 10 or regular ornaments, six lights. How long does it last? About two days of continuous usage. So but you can turn them on and turn so them on. So you want them to burn out so they uh, buy again. Where's right? your on-off? And how many people really say the $10? Item. But acquiring that customer, it's a subset of the male population. Correct. So, so they, how are you getting to them? So they say 55% of men have some sort of facial hair. Uh, but where we've been really lucky is we've had a couple videos go viral. So 130 million views wow. in, 2017, wow. in 2017 cost me zero marketing. And so that was a huge influx. That's but why we had the growth can in Can you get that every year? No, but my goal last year was to maintain the sales, and I did. We do a ton of just email blasts out to existing customers, so what I did. Is, what I, is your I increased sales. Though? I'm a director of sales for a telecom distributor. I'm not an e-commerce guy. I'm not a website SEO guy. I mean, a lot of this is just me bootstrapping and shipping from my basement. Well, you're killing it. And I've got some ideas of where I want to take this. One thing I think would be great is sports licensing. I mean, sell these Sports at licensing. Licensing. Sell these with at the Mavs stadiums. logo oh, yeah. on it. Sell them at the stadiums with the Mavericks logo, right? Or any NFL stadium and get the licensing to do little football. I don't know if that's a great idea. So what do you want the 150000 for? I have four things. It's it's the, the licensing. I want to do other holidays. So I think Hanukkah, Gay Pride, Independence Day. Mm. Um, so there's that. I also I want to try to that. get into retail because I think a $10, $20 item, getting it on the shelves, I think it'll sell quickly. Um, and then the fourth would be just expanding internationally or trying to broaden. But Jason, you're crushing it. This is the ultimate UFB. This is like, this proves that even the corniest ideas can make money if implemented correctly. I mean, thank you. 
Thank you. I, I really think that you don't need us. I mean, as much as I, I hate know. to say that, mm. you're crushing it. I mean, yeah. just put all that money in your pocket. This is like a dream for most people. Thank you. Thank you. I just don't see how it'd be investable for me in a way that works for both of us. So for okay. those reasons, I'm Understood. out. Thank you. Thank you know, you. Um, great that you thought of this. I get it's kitschy, it's fun. I can see people with beards loving it. It is so like in the garage kind of thing. And look what you've done with it. And Thank so amazing, kudos to you. But I agree with Mark 100%. You don't need a shark. You have your own business going. I think you're doing great. And I don't say this often, but I don't think you need a shark. And so I'm up. Okay, and I appreciate that. I think the reason I'm here, um, it's not about the money for me. I mean, luckily, like I said, I do have a job, but I think having someone help me take this, we're doing, you know, half a million in sales. I think we could get this yeah. for three to five but million. Exactly. Jason, I have no aversion to making money off you. Awesome. But why is it worth 1.5 million? Right. So I think this year, because I pre-purchased the inventory, um, I'm thinking we're going to do around 250 to 300,000 in net. So that's about five times net profit. I want to caution you against one thing. Yeah. I've invested in a lot of businesses that have one product and a big hit. And the biggest mistake the entrepreneurs make is to try to create new markets for it. When you said to me, you're thinking of doing this holiday or that holiday, I've seen that attempted many times. I've never seen it work. Maybe come out with new SKUs each year, get return customers, but I think that's what the business is about. I don't think there's room for any partner, so no. Okay, thank yeah. you for the feedback. I Jason, I that. think you have a great brand, Beard Immense. This is a part-time gig for you, and there's nothing wrong with that. You're making a boatload of cash. Right. But for me to invest, I want to know you're all in. I wish you the best, not for me. Okay. I'm out. Thank you, I appreciate that. I give you 150000 How do I get it back? Uh, by taking part in those distributions, and we'll figure out how to grow the business, right? And, and figure out how to increase sales. It's so crazy. Sure. I'm looking at it saying to myself, I am the only shark here who's made money selling crazy chicken things. I want to draw a cat for you, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, tipsy elves. OK, I'll give you that. That was stupid. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of like my potato parcel deal. Everybody thought it was a joke. The guy's making a fortune. I don't know. It's tempting. It's tempting. But I'm hair challenged. That's the problem. Hey. It's... <laughs> what? <laughs> I understand that, Kevin. Oh, one of those yeah. deals. What does your gut say, Kevin? What does yeah, your gut go say, with your gut? gut, Kevin? Uh, okay. Uh, you know, it's tough because on a crazy deal, I've made a lot of money on crazy deals. I, I, I'm going to pass, Jason. I'm just, it's just, it's, wow. it's, it's, it's great, but it's, it's frivolous. That's the problem. But that's so. you. No. I like money as much as you do, Kevin. I like we'll, that. We'll figure out how to make it work. Uh, 150 for 25%. Deal. No. Oh my God! Oh, I'm not wasting time with that. Thank you so much. Got it, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. All right. Thank wow. you, Jason. Thank you, Jason. Thank, you so Thank you so much, Jason. Congrats. Thank you. Kevin is the guy. I mean, from a licensing standpoint and from the way that he likes money. Now, I keep hearing terrible things about Mr. Wonderful and how he's the Grinch, but this time he really came in and saved Christmas. That's your kind of deal. Kevin, you have a heart. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> First into the tank is a way to make a big statement during the holidays. Hi, Sharks. I'm Amberly. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Christy. We're three cousins from Houston presenting our Texas-sized ornament. We're seeking $150,000 in exchange for 10% of our business. Do you have more Christmas cheer than storage space? Are you tired of spending hours decking your halls and your yard? Do you love big holiday cheer, but hate seeing all the melted snowman, the slayed Santas, and the roadkill Rudolphs flattened and deflated over oh. lawns the next morning? <laughs> well, we, we have, have the perfect, perfect holiday solution for you. you. Introducing Holly Ball, the inflatable ornament. It's inflatable, deflatable, and reusable. The all-weather material is UV resistant. You can easily hang them, stake them, sit them, and even float them. And they're storage friendly. You can fit three Holly Balls in just a shoebox. This is the only time you'll want to have big Holly Balls, but a tiny package. And we have the perfect <laughs> product just for you. You have some samples here, so let's try them out and have, have a ball. ball. <laughs> so I'm going to take off my top to show you how it deflates. What I mean by that is the top oh, of my ornament. Y'all dirty. 
So you pop the top, pull the plug. Takes about 30 seconds for it to fully deflate. And then to inflate your holly ball, you can use any household air compressor. We recommend our fast flow inflator, which will inflate your holly ball in less than 30 seconds. So you'll easily insert the nozzle, Oop. and then put your pin in, and then your topper. Oops, and my hands are shaking. That's it. And you're ready Voila. to go. Happy holly ball. So which one of you holly balls thought this thing up? <laughs> <laughs> um, I have lots of crazy ideas, but last summer uh, we knew we wanted to do something creative together. I shared this idea of the inflatable ornament and it sparked their interest as well. We do all kinds of crazy parties in our family. We're always decorating, we go over the top. We've always wanted the big commercial decor you see in malls and shopping centers, but they cost thousands of dollars, they weigh hundreds of pounds, and there's nowhere to store them. And so we started researching to see if we could find anything similar and we could not find anything. Yep. In July last year, we searched and sampled and sourced all types of materials, and we finally found this material that not only achieved the aesthetic that we wanted, but also the durability. So um, in less than 120 days, we were able to produce, package, and design our ornament ready wow. to sell. Let's talk sales. Since starting November 1st of last year, we're at $171,000 in sales. Good for you. What do you think you'll do this year? So we're projecting $650,000 in sales. Whoa. And what leads and you to project that, Jennifer? 300000 know, How do you base that projection? So last year, the only thing that capped our sales was lack of inventory. We hustled the Christmas markets last year. We had no money for marketing. In three days, we sold $30,000 worth of volleyballs. Yeah, we completely sold job. out of two colors. In January, we did $115,000 in sales. So after Christmas, yes. you did 150. Give me a very basic number. What does this cost to make yeah. and what do you sell it for? Sure, so they come in two sizes, 18 inch diameter and 30 inch is diameter. Is this the large small or the small? Large. That That's is the small. small. That costs $10 to make. And you sell it for what? Uh, retail, 40 and 60. Whoa. Wow. What percentage of your business is wholesale? Sure, so um, this year, 70% of our business was wholesale. However, COVID really put a damper in our plans. So we had to really do a digital pivot. Yes. So we uh, worked on our website, our SEO op optimization. What's your biggest obstacle? So our biggest obstacle really is inventory. We want to scale inventory to get prices down. And in order to do that, we would need your help. We want to move into branding and licensing, but also to help us streamline the production and really distribution process. For me, it, it's, it's the seasonality that's so tough, having gone into this space three times now over the last 10 years. But look, guys, I, I love it. I think you guys are very credible, but it's just not a journey I want to take. And I would have to slam such a royalty on this that the ball would deflate. <laughs> Mr. I'm Wonderful, sorry, are you out. sure you don't want balls in your portfolio? I do, I have balls. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. The valuation is pretty high. It's uh, $1.5 million. Why do you feel it's worth that much? So we're basing that on our current and projected sales. The thing is, there's nothing like it on the market, and we feel like we've proven that people want it in the fact that we sold out the first three days that we had it. But you're also market. at the mercy of how other people run their businesses, retailers, putting it out on the shelves at the right time. You know, you have a patent, but somebody will find ways around that, unfortunately, You're right? You're right, it will be knocked off. That's another reason that we need you guys is to hit the ground running before it gets knocked off. Looking at product, it's so visual and so much fun, but I think you're way out of line with your valuation. You're projecting $650,000 in sales next year. And I'm sure that influenced the way you priced your stock. But you have to remember that that's what you hope to do. I believe you'll do it, but it's not proven. I'm gonna make you an offer based on where I think it is. So I'm gonna give you $150,000, but I want 25% so that I could be a full holly ball right with you. Thank you but for that offer. I don't want you to shop it around. I'm not sure Lori has an offer, but I'd like to beat her out. <laughs> so you have to answer me, but you can't entertain another offer, please. Whoa! Oh, Barbara. One shark is out. Amberly, Christy, and Jennifer have an offer on the table from Barbara for their giant inflatable Christmas ornaments, Holly Ball. But she won't wait for them to hear other offers. So you have to answer me, but you can't entertain another offer, please. 
you, you waited all that time to come here, and you're not gonna, she's not gonna let you listen to anybody else. Because I know I'm giving you an equitable offer. I know I can help you. What is great about this product that you're not utilizing now, I suspect, is it's built perfectly for social media and promotion. It's so visual. Everybody, let me tell you what I here, think. Everybody up here that has That is if lessons. Barbara will let me tell you. So, Barbara. It's certainly up to you. I don't mean to force an offer. I just think I'm the dream partner. It's a fair deal. That's the Christmas That's spirit. That's a Christmas spirit. Right? Come on, I wouldn't push wow. it if I didn't I'm believe it. Don't listen okay. to her. We would love to partner with you, but we would also like to hear our other opportunities with the other shark. And you don't want this offer. So, I'm the only one who ever licensed any Christmas products here. A guy came on here with a company called Hanukkah Tree Topper, and I licensed that out to Kurt Adler, the largest company in the space. So my offer is I'll okay, give I'm you. Okay, I'm out. Damon, how do you sleep at night? How do you sleep at night? You destroyed yeah, how that. how do you sleep at <laughs> night? He doesn't right. sleep at night. You destroyed that deal. Vampires don't sleep. <laughs> I'll give you 150000 for 20%, and I will take 5% less than what I was going to initially offer because Barbara's such a mean person. <laughs> I'll tell you what I was going to say. You're gonna let me Barbie speak. And I should come back oh, is this... I think it's only fair. This is okay. their moment. Their one moment on the carpet, right wait here. Wait a now. second. Do <laughs> oh, I hear so, that Mark Cuban could wait. be interested in Holly Balls? Let me oh. just tell you this. I always wanted to meet the women who had the world by the balls. Right? <laughs> you know. So we'll do 25 percent. 150 for 25 percent with both your partners. And you get both okay. of us. Whoa, Holly Balls. And you're 150 for 20 percent. 150 thousand dollars, 20 percent, and I got the licenses ready. Okay, let's see what they're doing. Let's see. I'm wondering if I got to get back into this deal. No, you don't want to get back in. I know. Deal. I'm wondering if I should go in with Damon. No, don't go in. Damon, should I go in with you? Come on in. Let's see. Hey, ladies. Damon yeah. and I just went in together. Oh so no. So you two in 150 for 20 percent. Yep. And then you two for 25 percent. And I'm sitting out here like an elf in the cold. <laughs> sure you don't want to get Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Barbara and Mark, you have a deal. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, Thank you so much for your offer. Horrible oh, yeah. decision. Thank you. Why did you pick Mark and Barbara over Damon and Lori? For less. There was no reason. It, it was, was our gut, gut feeling. Yeah, your gut is right on. We're going to make a lot of money. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye. Congrats, Congrats, guys. Oh, oh. my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Barbara was on board from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, she believed in us right at first, and that meant a lot as well, that she was willing to put her neck out there for the Holly ball, and she wanted to be a Holly girl. What more can you ask yeah. for? So we got a Holly girl yeah. and a Holly boy. <laughs> Damon, they threw you under a bus. This is what you look like now. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> first in the tank is an easier way to decorate for the holidays. Hi, Sharks. I'm Christmas Kurt, Chief Artificial Christmas Tree Farmer at Easy Treesy, the world's easiest Christmas tree. Now, I know it's Christmas, but where are all the decorations for the tank? Mark, did you forget to put up the tree again? Always. <laughs> Maybe all we need is a little Christmas magic. Does anybody know any elves? Oh, there they are, the Easy Treesy elves! I bet they can help. Let's turn this tank into a holiday masterpiece. Treasy was invented to solve the headaches of putting up an artificial Christmas tree. Our trees are extremely light and go up extremely quickly all by yourself. Our memory wire patent pending cone technology features an industry first electromagnetic lighting system. Securely snaps together and instantly illuminates the lights. Wow. Now, let's talk decorating. We have a designer collection that ships completely decorated right out of the box, all the ornaments attached. Sets up in under a minute and you are done with your Christmas tree. Love to decorate with those cherished ornaments you've collected over a lifetime? No problem. Easy Treesy has a natural collection that allows you to decorate the trees any way you like. And what's best is once you attach the ornaments, you can actually store them attached so that next year they're ready to go. Wow. Wow. Now, what's the worst part about the holidays? When they're over <laughs> and we have to take everything down. Lucky for us with Easy Treesy, it goes down as fast as it went up and conveniently stores hung in closets under beds or laid on shelves thanks to our lay flat technology. 
Wow. Now, our tank looks like a cozy holiday home, uh -huh. and I haven't even had enough time to tell you how much money I want. Uh -huh. uh, so about that, uh -huh. I'm looking for $400,000 for 10% of my company to help put an easy treasy in every living room across America. Now, we put out some hot cocoa for you. Uh -huh. uh, it's a special uh -huh. cocoa to help loosen up your wallets. Yeah. Uh -huh. What does this tree sell for right there? Uh, this one will sell for $7.79. A tree like this that's undecorated will be your, our lower price point at $5.99, and then... Barbara, you had an investment in this space. Yes. Is that a lot for a tree? Well, the modern Christmas tree that's been selling so well, really, so that's a good report card for you, uh, they sell for roughly $600 to $800. Vastly different, opposite, very modern. These are traditional. It's a different customer base, I'm sure. It is. Well, the value here is the simplicity, right? The fact that it takes no time to set it up, takes no time to tear it down. The question is, where can I buy it at 10 p.m. on Christmas Eve? Uh, well, so we're in big box retail. We are in a store called At Home. It's 210 locations across the U.S. So getting back to the price point, our trees and at home are actually retailing for $2.99. Smaller tree, smaller? Same size tree, but different quality of tips, different quantity of lights. What we can do here, and we've started to work with other big box retailers on, is we can take a price point people want to hit, and we can engineer a tree mm. to fit right, that price point. You can customize point. it but the reason yes. What are your margins yeah. on that at $299? So we have about a 35% margin to them right now. We will drive that margin up slightly with, with volume. Kurt, tell us about yourself. I got to know how you came up with this. I'm from Wisconsin originally, a uh, very rural town. So we had forests right behind our house. And when Christmas came, we'd go out and chop down a Christmas tree. And you know, I just always loved the Christmas holiday. It was very important to me. Um, a lot from my mom. She ended up getting a disease called scleroderma uh, when I was in high school. And I got to watch her, unfortunately, kind of deteriorate. And she eventually passed away in 2009. Sorry. So, you know, the holidays were so special to her that she couldn't and any longer go out and cut down that Christmas tree and haul it in and do the whole live thing. So one of the things was, is how do I make a Christmas tree that a single person can put up? Because regular Christmas trees are very, very heavy. This was always in my head, is how do I fix this problem? Tell us about your sales. 2018, we did $605,000. This year, we're projected to do $2.2 .2 million. Wow. So if you're only selling in the 210 stores for $299 each, what percentage of your sales are there and what other platforms are you selling on? That percentage of business is about 15% of our business. Just 15%? Into the retail, yes. Uh, we do a big business through Amazon, as everyone knows, it's kind of the beast. And then we do have a great direct-to-consumer through our own website. What okay. percentage is direct-to-consumer? Uh, about 50%. Okay, so how much money have you raised? How much have you put in yourself? A lot. And how much debt do you have? <laughs> no debt, but I'm all in, man. I'm all in. <laughs> sure sounds like it. So you've raised no outside money. I haven't raised any money. How so much have you put I'm in? I've self-funded uh, about 500. That's wow. hard money to put into any business. I know. <laughs> it's I, meaningful. I tell my sister, sometimes I feel like, you know, I'm at the casino table on blackjack, and the dealer's showing the six, and you've got the, the, the 11 here. And you got to double down, And, right? I, and I've taken my, my, I yeah, got my shoes on the down. table, the watches <laughs> out there, everything's there. All right, let me push a couple of buttons here on price. I'm in this space with a deal called <laughs> Geek My Tree. Yes. We provided the lighting for a lot of manufacturers. Yes. And I learned all the price points. Yes. Selling a tree for over 200 is really hard. Yes. So I'm really? assuming these $600 trees that you're selling, premium market, direct to customer. Yes. No retailer is going to touch that. No. So how is it that you think you can get to 2.2 million? But that's million? the whole purpose of the design, right? So last year was really data collection. So we learned what the customer is, who the customer is, how they interact with the website. Were you doing Facebook ads, Instagram ads? We st tested Instagram. Instagram and Facebook were OK. Google performed the best. So how much are you going to spend on digital advertising for this season? Uh, we have budgeted about 120000 That's it. That's it. Look, I want to tell you something. I'm actually related to Scrooge. He's my uncle. <laughs> and I'll tell you what's going to happen here. You are going to be very disappointed in how few you sell at that price above $299. Nobody is going to pay you $700 for this tree. It's not going to happen. I hate this business. I'm out. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Other than that, Scrooge, what a grumpy guy. Christmas. Kurt, who does your digital advertising for you right now? We have a, a contractor that does it down okay. out of To me, that's the problem. Your whole business is dependent on your best skill being your digital advertising abilities. Well, if I can, so we presented this tree to Home Depot in early 2018. We were actually invited to their PLR in China. 
They gave us a verbal commitment for uh, 70,000 units, um, which came in right around like eight and a half million dollars. You didn't think it was relevant to tell us? I, I was getting there, I've had a lot of questions. So we had the verbal commitment. So what happened is at that point, you know, the mold was very expensive to make. What we presented to them was actually like a handmade sample because we were still trying right. to get that sure. developed. So they look at that and then they don't have the confidence that we can ship 70,000 units but now I have data that I can go back to Walmart, Lowe's, okay, Home Depot, but still, Menards. Kirk, what I'm saying is the most profitable part and the greatest upside of your business is what you sell direct to consumer. The key to being successful there is being a great digital marketer. I didn't get a sense of confidence that you really have that under control. So for those reasons, I'm out. You know, I'm curious about a couple of things. You mentioned that you had a problem with Home Depot. Did you go back to that store and resell them again after you solved the problem? Well, we've, we've been in contact with them throughout. Um, we still stay in touch and give them updates. Sounds like a relative you don't really want to see. Sure. Well, we, no, we want to see them, but we want to see them when we're but right. still, this is what's bothering me. You had an $8 million order that you let lie there a while. We'll get them back, don't worry. We'll get them back. $8 million. I pay a lot of attention to $8 million. I'm out. Listen, your price point is too high. I don't think it's the right deal for me, so I'm sorry, I'm out. Okay then, Robert, what are you gonna do? Kurt, I love the uh, business. Aesthetically, I think it's beautiful. And I love the reason you started the company because I think it has a deeply personal meaning to you. But to me, this business is worth about a million dollars. For me to give you 400,000, I would need to own 40% of it. I don't think you with your shiny hat are going to entertain that. I mean, a million dollar valuation is... It's, it's a gamble. You're in a very Is that an official game. offer, by the way? Four sharks are out. Robert is Kurt's last chance of getting a deal for his artificial Christmas tree company, Easy Treasy. To me, this business is worth about a million dollars. Really? For me to give you 400000 I would need to own 40% of it. It's a gamble. It's, it's a gamble. You're in a very Is that an high... official offer, by the way? I mean, if you're willing to entertain that offer, I'm certainly willing to make it. Wow. 400000 for 40%. So, I mean, you know, I understand the risk um, that you're facing. And certainly anything in life is unpredictable, except for death and taxes. Uh, would you be at all flexible to come down on the percentage to say, you know, 20% for $400,000? I mean, that's giving me a $2 million valuation. Kurt, I think you're learning a lot, and I think Mark made the point. I wish you had more digital marketing expertise, but you're learning that. You'll yeah. get there. No one's born great at something. You learn it along the way. Well, you know, it's, it's better to hire experts than to do everything yourself, you know? We want to make sure that we get uh, the not always true. best person not to always do the true. digital. When you start a business, you got to be an expert at what makes your business grow and sell. But the reality of the situation is, I am the only shark that's left. I know. Kirk, what are you going to do? Do what's right for you. Uh, I would be willing to do the deal at 25%. I wouldn't. It's, it's how I see the deal and how I've equated and baked in the risk. 400,000 for 40%. Yeah, was, uh, I don't, I can't accept that offer. I said my best you for sticking to your guns. Is, is 20, yeah, you don't have to give everything away. Is I can house. respect that. I still hate you, but I can respect <laughs> that. Congratulations, Listen, Kurt. Good luck. Good luck. It's a nice tree. It was a clever idea. Good luck. Thank you all. Take care. Bye. Merry Christmas. Good luck. I wish we would have landed a deal, but, you know, life goes on, and Easy Treasy will evolve and live, and, again, we'll be in every house in America at some point. I thought it's pretty. You have to like it's a skinny so tree. Oh, my God, Robert. You break it, you buy it, Robert. <laughs> <laughs>